We're all familiar with the term or the phrase that's been around forever, which basically states, no hoof, no horse. That is true today as it was many, many years ago. Um, so what, what's needed really for a horse to grow and maintain a good, strong, healthy hoof? Unfortunately, some horses are going to have less than desirable hoof quality simply because of genetics. And so when we say genetics, that's really a man-made condition because obviously if these horses had to survive out in the wild, they'd never make it. So through our husbandry practices and our breeding practices, we've kind of developed certain strains of horses that will naturally have poor feet. For example, a club foot is a genetic condition. Um, if a mayor's got a club foot, it should be no surprise that your foal's going to have a club foot. So these are things that are presented to us that we have to learn how to manage and how to feed correctly. One of the first things, however, I want to emphasize is the mechanics of the foot is going to have just as much to do with the growth and the strength and the overall health of that foot as nutrition will. So that dictates then that you've got to be working with a farrier that understands how to set up the different mechanics of these different kind of feet, whether it's a club foot or a crushed heel foot or a low heel, long toe type foot in order to promote healthy hoof tissue, which then leads into what I want to talk about today. And that is essentially getting blood flow into that foot. We talk a lot about, you know, things like biotin. We talk a lot about amino acids like methionine, minerals like zinc. These are all important for optimal strength and health of hoof tissue. But if we don't have blood supply to those hoof tissues, those nutrients are never going to make it to the hoof tissue and therefore that you, you'll see very little improvement in the hoof quality or the growth rate of the foot. So we've actually here at Equivision have developed a product that we call Surge, which was designed to help increase blood flow or blood supply to the horse's hoof. And we have successfully increased the rate of hoof growth in many horses that had previously presented with very slow hoof growth. And then we can, after we've in, uh, encouraged or helped support increased blood, blood flow is what I'm trying to say, um, now we can get these other nutrients such as lysine, methionine, zinc, copper, iodine, biotin, etc. Now we can get these nutrients to that hoof tissue so we can not only increase the rate at which the hoof grows, but now the hoof that does grow can be healthier and stronger. Your farrier is going to notice the difference as well, and it's going to make his or her life easier because they're going to have more foot to work with in order to keep the mechanics where they want, and therefore that foot can continue to grow and develop in a very strong and healthy manner.